Hello, hello! Valiant streaming here. Welcome on in, everyone. Here we are. We are back in old school RuneScape. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to try and do a quest. Another part of Recipe for Disaster. I don't really know which part to do. I think we might just try and do Pirate Pete. It's the next one down. Should we go in and take a look? Let's do it! All right, let's go and have a look. Let's go do a bit of reading. I'm sure that's what it'll be. Okay, inspect Pirate Pete. Let's try this. How would I go about protecting this nautical fellow from the curse of the Clunaromancer then? No idea. Hmm, wait a moment. My fortune teller sense is tingling. Ooh. Um, okay. Ah, yes. To immunise him from the Clunaromancer's attack, you will need to feed him fish cakes. Of course. He's a pirate. Fish cakes, pirate? Gotta be. Fish cakes? What? Like chocolate cake with fish instead of chocolate? No. Like small bread crumbed fishy delicacies. Okay. Mm, so how would I make those then? I don't know. I'm a fortune teller, not a cook. I don't suppose it occurred to you to ask the actual cook in the room right next door to us? Oh yeah. I'll be right back. All right, let's go talk to the cookie. All right, look at this guy. Evil Dave's like break dancing or something on top of the chair. <laughs> All right, let's get out. Let's see what we've got. Talk to Cookie. Can we talk about what happened in the dining room? Wow, you were incredible. The way you defeated the Cullerman answer, or whatever it is, <laughs> you made it seem so easy. Did I? So, I don't suppose you can remember exactly how I defeated him, can you? Of course! Which bit can't you remember doing? Protecting the pirate. I can't quite remember how I managed to save that pirate. The pirate? Yes, you used fish cakes, didn't you? I do. I did. Yes, uh, I mean I did. <laughs> Out of interest, could you just help me quickly with that? Can you tell me how to make fish cakes? That would be big help. Fish cakes, as in with fish eggs and fish milk. Ooh, don't be silly. That would never work. Can you check to see if there is a recipe for them? Of course. Found it. Apparently, you need ground cod, ground kelp, Ground giant crab meat and breadcrumbs. Right, should we scribble this down just in case? This is all for... Oh, we need to keep that. That's... Let's do it below this. That's for our house, remember? So we're going to want ground cod. So that means we're going to need... Our grinding stone, I'm sure. Ground cod. Ground kelp. I've got no idea about. Uh, ground giant crab meat. Ground giant crab meat and breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are easy at least. I've made breadcrumbs before by mistake, might I add. <laughs> Using a knife on the old bread. Right. So where do I get ground cod first of all then? I th I'm pretty sure it's just going to be fishing, isn't it? Well, if you want to use a more on a raw cod, that will grind it up nicely. So that's no problem. What about the ground kelp? There are apparently some kelp patches off the coast near Rimmington. Murphy knows more about that. Murphy. Who's Murphy? As for the grinding part, all you have to do is use a pestle and mortar on it. That ought to get it sorted. Okay. Murphy also used to bring in giant crabs occasionally. Hasn't had any of them in for a while though. You'd best go and have a word with him to see if he can tell you what happened. Okay. Thanks. Okay, no problem. So all we know right now is we're going to need a mortar and pestle. Let's take that with us. Mortar and pestle. There it is. Where's Murphy? Remington? 
Murphy's not at Remington, is he? Oh. I wonder if I talk to him again, he'll tell me where Murphy is. I've heard the name Murphy and I can't think where I've heard the name. Will he tell me? La 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 la. Is he just going to tell me the same? Breadcrumbs, giant crab meat. Murphy. I think I might know where Murphy is actually. Hold on. Is Murphy at Fishing Trawler? Murphy might be the guy on the dock at Fishing Trawler. Crabs, fish, kind of all makes sense, right? It kind of makes sense. Murphy, there, Murphy? Murphy! Come on, that's a win straight away. All right, Murphy. Talk about recipe for disaster. Murphy, can you tell me about giant crabs? Giant crabs? Why, I used to haul up a few of those whenever I set my nets around Remington. Remington, then. Why the interest? I need to get some giant crab meat and kelp. Can you tell me where I can get some? Well, the only thing I can think to do is go down there and look to see if you, there are any left. Go down there? What do you mean? As in, under the water? Tell me, can you get your hands on a fish bowl? I'm sure I'll be able to if I put my mind to it. Why do you ask? Well, I know how to rig up a handy set of breathing gear that can allow you to keep air inside the fish bowl. You just put the barrel of air on your back with a fish bowl over your head and then dive over the side. It should hold enough air to keep you alive for quite some time. That sounds pretty dangerous. Not at all. I'll even weigh anchor with a chain somewhere easy to reach so you can climb out easily enough if you run into trouble. I'm still not happy about this. Well, I can't think of any other way to check. If you come up with a better plan, then feel free to tell me. In the meantime, I'll wait, and if you want me to take you diving, I'll be ready. By the way, why are you interested in crabs all of a sudden? I can't tell you, I'm afraid. The very fabric of space and time could collapse. Dum dum dum. Okay. Well, I guess some people will do anything for a bit of fresh seafood. Right, I think we can make a... Um, I think we can make a fish bowl, can't we? With crafting. Glass. Fish bowl. Yes, we can make a fish bowl. Let's have a look. Do we have any? We might not have any ready. So we're going to need... Uh, not our needle. Oh, that. We're going to want our glass blowing pipe. And of course we have no molten glass. Of course we don't. We do, however, have a bucket of sand. And we should have seaweed. Seaweed! And we have seaweed. Let's go and make some. Doesn't look like there's anywhere to cook here. We can't cook here, so let's go to... I mean, alright, let's just go back to Lumbee and cook it. Oh no! All right, this will be all right. We'll do it. We'll do it. We can probably use the, f hopefully, the uh, the furnace there. Okay, we've got the soda ash. Can we use the furnace here to turn it into molten glass? I don't know. I actually don't know. I've never tried. We're about to find out together, guys. So we are. Let's do it. Doom, doom, doom. All right, we can. All right, let's just drop the bucket, eh? Drop the bucket. Let's use that on that. Let's make us fish bowl. Did he say I had to go down and kill crabs? By the way, I think he said I had to kill crabs. Should I take a weapon with me? I'll tell you what. Let's first of all 
Let's go to the watchtower. Okay. Let's do it like this. I think he said I had to kill crabs, didn't he? Did he say kill crabs? I'm not even sure. I'll take a weapon on me just in case. We'll take a weapon and, and a bit of food. We've got the empty fish bowl that he asked for. We have the pestle and mortar. We can put away the glass blowing pipe. Put that away. Let's just take a weapon with us. Should we take a... Should we take a leaf blade and the defender? We'll take those just in case. Just in case. We've got lots of... Oh, maybe a, a touch of food? Maybe a bit of food. Uh, not much. Like, what about, like, three shark? Let's take a bit more in case we run out of air or anything. I don't know what's going to happen. Right. Let's go back to the port. Port Kazard, this way. Dum -dum 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 -dum. All right. Let's go and see what we can see when we can see it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody did tell me, I can't remember whom did tell me something about recipe for disaster that I couldn't do some of these. It might have been ceramic vase and this one. That I can't do them yet. What does Pirate Pete say? Uh, oh, here we go. Wow. Oh, my word. I should ask the cook about how to make these. We know how to make breadcrumbs, don't we? I'm sure we do. I can make this by grinding a raw cod in a pestle and mortar. Right. He was telling me to go diving to get kelp. I need to find him with a fish bowl to make the diving helmet. Murphy's told me I need to go diving to get the giant crab meat. I need to find him with a fish bowl to make... Okay. So I guess... I guess we go and tell him we've got the helmet. Talk about the recipe for disaster. Ahoy there! Up for a bit of a swim? I certainly am. Great, I'll sort that fish bowl out for you. Murphy attaches some tubes to the backpack and the fish bowl and puts a rubber hood inside. Okay. There you go. Are you sure it, this is safe? Sure, it's as sound as my ship. Want me to take you out now? Uh, should we put this stuff on? Let's put this stuff on. There. Let's just do this because I don't feel, I don't feel confident here, guys. Let's talk to him again. Talk about recipe for disaster. Yes, let's go diving. Okay, let's be off. Okay, I am worried. I'm not joking. I don't like underwater. You guys have seen me play Subnautica. I hate it. Good luck. I'll weigh anchor. Climb up the chain to get out. Oh my god. First thing I'm going to look for is the chain. Chain. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we've got a cave some fish. Do I have a certain amount of air? I don't see it. You've just unlocked a new music track, Davy Jones's Locker. Okay, what's straight ahead? Ew, what's that? Wait, that's some... It hovered over it. Kelp. Pick the kelp. Oh, I can't click on anything. You take some kelp. Should we take two? Let's take two. Okay, we got kelp. That was easy enough. Now we're looking for crabs. Ooh. Moga guards. Do we want to talk to these? Let's go see. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a named one there. Silly fishy, you looking like... Little moga with your <laughs> little arms and with your little legs. Swim along, silly roundhead fishy. Don't let them skippies eat you. Oh, wow. 
Okay, what about this guy? There's a named guy here. Hey, silly fishy, with that round head. Me? Yeah, what kind of fishy you thinking you are? I'm not any kind of fishy, uh, fish. Well, what are you doing here if you're not a fishy? Well, I'm trying to get some giant crab meat. And there they are, look. This fishy is a funny fishy. What's this fishy wanting? You see those big crabs? I want one of those. Use here to steal in my big crunchy claws. Nung should smash your stupid round head. Oh no. Always the big nettings was taking my big crunchy claws. I put them in the cages and now you's come to get them. Swim away little fishy or I eat you till you's dead. Wait, could I buy some of the crab meat? Silly round head fishy, want swap big crunchy claws? Nah, you no real deal. I bet you no do non big favour. I'll bet we will. Seriously, I need to get that meat. I'll do your big favour if you want. Ha! Ah, silly round head fishy, if you get Nong five big skippy skins, then maybe Nong thinking you okay. Five big skippy skins. Yeah, the big skippies live over there. Oh, okay, we saw that cave. You need lots of big, big stones to get down there. Then you kill the big skippies and bring the skins to Nung. You do this, then maybe Nung let you swap the big crunchy claws. Okay, right. So he wants us to go over here. But he says something about stones as well. Uh, hold on. Nung has told me that he will not let me buy any until I prove a friend to the most. I have to collect giant mud and I'll give them to him. I need five hides. But he says I need stones. These stones? Yes. Enter the underwater cavern entrance. He says I need many, but how many? Should we take two? You need to collect three rocks to get into... Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. So we needed five rocks. Two more. So one more. Okay. Now we can get in, right? Now. Oh, man. Oh, I can put my weapons on. All right. So I guess mud skippers, these. Let's just drop these, right? Okay. Mud skipper hide. One. We need five. Oh, this should be simple. This should be cake. Fish cake. Yus. Two. Why can't those big guys? Why can't Nung come and get his own? These are easy mode. Three. Oh, one more. One, two, three, four. Mud skipper hide. Got it. It was easy, right? Ah, uh, the the rocks weighed us down. Look, so we can walk on the bottom. That's what it was. Right. Let's go back to him. I'm gonna guess he's gonna let us in there. Maybe we've got to fight crabs now. Mr. Krabs, where is he? There he is. Come here, boy. Yo, dude, this way, over here. Nung, I have your giant mud skipper skins. What you say? Has the silly round headed fishy got the big skippy skins? Uh, yes, I have the big skippy skins. Silly round head fishy done good. Gimme. Yeah, the round fishy head does a good big favour for Nung. I'm thinking you's okay to swap the giant crunchy claws now. Great. How much do you want for them? You's got to get me something to make these hides to a cloak and flippers and hat. Then I'll let you have all the big crunchy claws you can get. But it not be easy. Well, I'll do it. What do I need? 
An item of ancient power? Something from the deepest, darkest dungeon in the world? What sort of monsters will I need to fight? I'd best grab myself some potions too. Will there be traps? Should I bring cakes? Yeah, it real dangerous for a fishy. You've got to go up to the topses and you've got to get a needly thing and some wiry stuff. A needle? Yeah. And bronze wire? Yeah, tree wiry stuffs. So all I have to do is bring you three rolls of bronze wire and a needle and I can have all the giant crabs I can kill? Yeah, but be a sneaky roundhead fishy. Do topses has not water for a little fishy like you to breathe. It real dangerous. Yeah, sounds it. Okay, so we've got to go back and get a needle and three bronze wire. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is a nice quest, guys. This is different, right? <laughs> this is different. We is under. Hey, I've just thought. I wonder if this helmet. <laughs> Doctor Jekyll's down here with one on. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> No, sorry, Dr. Jekyll. We're busy, man. Can't you see we're questing? There. How did it go? Not too bad. Great. I'll take us back in. Thanks, Murphy. We need to get a needle and three bronze wire. I know I've got a needle, but I don't think I've got bronze wire ready to go. Let's have a look. I wonder if this helmet will allow me to go into Fossil Island. That's a thought. That is a thought. Right, needle. Needle. Bronze wire, I'm pretty sure we don't have guys. No. We've only actually got one bronze bar. So, we might have to... We don't even have tin. Look. <laughs> But we don't has what we needs. So we've got to we've got to get busy. Let's get busy. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Alright. Pickaxe. We're gonna go to We're gonna go to We're gonna go to Varrock. We need a couple of bits. Just a couple of bits. That's all we need. Let's do it. Let's do it. We actually need our Incando hammer as well. Guys, this is a nice quest. I'm enjoying this. It's kind of gentle, right? It's kind of gentle. Let's grab that. We're going to mine two tin, two copper. Make two more bronze. Then go make three bronze wire. Put everything back we don't need in the bank. Then we'll go back to Murphy. Two minutes 41. Right. <clears throat> right, let's get a couple of tin. One. Two tin. Oh, no. Can't we even get copper this side? No, we made a mistake. It was real. We've got to get copper from the other side. Bum, 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 bum. How frustrating is that? Very, I might add. Guys, if you guys do enjoy my videos, don't forget to leave a follow on my channel. All right. Hit the subscribe button. That's what I should say. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment forget to leave me a like those likes are massively important they really are here we go two of these one and two right let's go back to yeah we need to smelt these oh man all right i'm gonna just do a little bit of juggling around here we're gonna go fally in here and just smelt them Boom, 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 boom. Right, let's make these. One, two. Just like that. Now we're going to quickly go to Varrock. All right. We're doing it. We're going to go to the anvil. 
We're going to make three bronze wire. Guys, I've got my coffee here. I forgot. Coffee's been there since the start. Luckily, it's on my mug warmer. There we go. Look at that. It goes funny look because of my green screen, but it, it's all it's all right. That was good. It's good coffee. Right, bronze wire. There it is. Here we go. Right, bronze wire. One. Two. Three. All right. Let's go drop off the pick. And that. Now I believe we're good to go again. So we're going to go... We'll, we'll use this this time, look. Teleport back to the fishing trawler. I hope uh, Murphy will take me underwater again. I hope it wasn't a one deal thing. Oh my gosh, I hope I haven't got to get those mud skipper things again. Although it doesn't, didn't take long, did it? I'm sure we won't have to. It would have been cruel if they made you do that again. Hey, okay, talk to Murphy. Set for a dive. Yes, please. Let's go again. Here we go again. Guys, I'm warm. I'm going to take my jacket off. Oof. It's getting warm. Hey, come on. Let's go. Let's throw it on Kay's chair. She's not here. She's back at work, bless her. I actually walked her a little, little bit of the way she allowed me to today. Not far. Seriously. 150 metres or so. But then she phoned me all the way back. I was on the phone with her the whole way back. She wouldn't let me... Until I was back in the house, well, the bungalow, he wouldn't let me uh, come off the phone. Right, here we go. Where's, where's Nung? There he is. Talk to Nung. We swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Nung, I have the needle and wire. Nong thinks this is a useful fishy he finds. Hear me. Nong have all the wiry stuff and needly things he needs to make the biggestest skippy skin hat ever. Use a good little fishy. You eat as many big crunchy claws as you want. Maybe you get big and strong like Nong. Thanks. All right, so now what? Now do we go in here? Open the pen door. Hey, Nong says no fishes. I spoke to Nong, he said it was okay. Well, if Nong say it okay, then go ahead. Thanks. You need to collect five rocks to go into the pen. All right, are they only round here? Let's get five rocks then. Ah, it's because you've got to stabilise yourself, isn't it, on the bottom. So I, I'm going to guess we do have to fight in there. One. Two. Three. Four. And five rocks. Okay. We put those rocks in our pocketses. We got big pocketses, guys. Let me tell you now. We must have huge pocketses. Let's have a look. Okay, we're in. It's a little slippery, but you should be able to fight. Okay. Put these bad boys on. What do we want? Crab meat. We want some crab meat. Uh, ooh, look at that. We've just got fresh crab claw. A collection item. Holy moly. All right. Now, is that meat the same? Crab meat. Crab meat. It looks to be. Kill just one or two more of the big ones, just in case. I think it's just crab meat, right? It looks to be that. I think 
fresh crab shell. Oh, oh, we got a collection log there as well. A fresh crab shell. All right. Can't knock it. Interesting. What do these things drop? Um, oysters as well. Okay, that's nothing. All right, they can only drop that. So I think we've done. We've got four meat. Let's, uh, should we try and get out of here? Can we swim over there, please? And oh, while we're swimming, look at the quest. Pirate Pete. I can make this by giant ground. Okay, so we've got to grind it in the pestle and mortar. Do you know what? We've got four. Should we grab two more kelp? We're right here, look. Kelp. Kelp. There, we've got four kelp. And we've got four... Cod. Uh, no, we've got to get the cod still. We've got four crab. All right, so let's do it like this. How did it go? Not too bad. Great. I'll take us back then. Thank you very much, sir. Do not think we've got to go underwater again. So let's switch these. Switch these out. This could be very useful, you know. Right, so first of all, let's use the crab meat on the mortar and pestle. And we have ground crab meat. One, two, three. We've got four ground crab meat. Let's do it. We're going to do it. Let's do it proper. Now let's use the kelp. On here. Ground kelp. One, two, three, four ground kelp. One, two, three, four ground kelp. Hey, anyway, let's put these on to give us a bit more room. I don't think we need these, but let's deposit those two. We're not going to need these fish either, are we? But we do need. What else? We need some cod. We need cod. I have the kelp. I have the crab meat. I can make this. We need cod. By if we get how many cod have we got? Four. Let's get four cod. And then the breadcrumbs. Hold on. Do we have any cod? Probably not. We actually do. We actually do. One, two three four cod thank cod for that i oh, know i'm here all week guys use that on that nothing interesting happens you ah we need raw cod we need raw cod these are cooked cod cod almighty all right so how do we collect how do we get cod we're gonna have to look I know where to get it, but I don't know what we need for it. So, it might be a normal rod, salmon, no. Cod, it must be a, a big net. A big net, okay. A big net, let's take a look then. Search for a net. There we go. Big fish in that. Let's go and get us a couple of cod, guys. We're going to go to... Catherby. I'm pretty sure we've had cod at Catherby before. Let's have some more coffee. Coffee for cod in Catherby. All the seas. divine yeah we did some uh tempros last night with the viewers we got 30 odd permits but we didn't get what we wanted we we're looking for the fish barrel and the tackle box really right i wonder which one we go on big fish net this one we're looking for cod come on we've got some mackerel there we just want cod. We're looking for the blue fish. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh my god, mackerel and bass. I hope I'm right. It comes from here. I'm sure cod comes from here. This is the sea. Yes, there we go. There's one cod. Should we get four? See if we can get four. We'll see how long it takes. We'll see how long it takes. Because I don't know if we can wreck this meal. I'm thinking back to... Do you remember when we did the dwarf one? And we put down do you know the rock cake we put it down and we couldn't we couldn't pick it back up it was too hot i don't want anything to go wrong like and have to go down the bottom of the sea and, and grab loads of stuff again so we'll see we've still only got one cod we've, got, we've even got boots okay we're gonna have to start dropping some stuff we have no choice there's two cod I don't want to drop the seaweed. Seaweed, I find, is uh, quite awkward to get. For me, at least. Come on, give me two more cod, please. Then we can move on. Blimey, Val, that was a bit out of tune, old boy. What's going on? Let's try this one. Oh, that coffee's good. That coffee's real good. Okay, we've got three cod. We need one more. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, we don't need one more, probably. But, you know, I've, I've got four kelp and I've got four of these ground crab meat. So why not? Why not? We can't be here much more than a few more seconds. Bear with me. Stick with me. We'll go far. That's the hopes. Hopes and dreams of valiance. Oh my gosh, come on. I'm going to have to drop a load more by the looks of it. Yeah. Let's just ditch all this stuff. We don't want this stuff. Come on now. Give me the last cod, please. Bass and mackerel. No, thank you. Cod. There we go. We're in. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Now let's use the raw cod on here. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Right, let's go to the bank. To the bank! Do, do, do. We're going to put away the seaweed and the big fish in that. We'll move those up. Oh, we're bread. We don't have bread. Of course we don't have bread. Do we have uh, any pots for flour? No. Okay. Buckets we have for water though. We do have buckets of water. Three buckets of water. We'll take one more to fill. Oh gosh, I'll put everything away. We still need these out, look. Oh no, I put everything away. Rodney, you plonker. Let's take the cod. Help. Crab me. Let's uh, release those. Right. So, we're going to go to... Lumbridge. We're going to fill this bucket with water. So we've got four. Yes, 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 guys. We make our own bread. Oh, no. We need some money. We need some money to buy pots. We need four pots. Oh, there's a pot there. We need enough money to buy three more pots, then. I think pots might only be like one each or something, but I'm not sure. So we're going to take our 600,000 gold pieces with us. <laughs> okay. Dum, da, dum, 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 da, dum. Okay, round here, let's hope. I think they do sell pots. That's for us to put the flour in after we've ground the wheat. 
We're trying hard now. Trade. Yes, we're going to buy three. One, two, three. That's our four pots. All right, let's go and get four wheat. Let's drink some more coffee. Guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. You know, I love questing. I do. I can't think of anything at the moment I prefer to do on my computer when sitting there than doing old school RuneScape quests. No joke. I'm not joking. Some of it's very simple and you just go through it. Some of it you have to think about, and but when you get it and it's right, it's like, yes, it's really that yes moment, you know? All right, there we go. We have our wheat, grain, grain, wheat, whatever you want to call it. Same, same if you ask me. Okay, we're going to the top. All the way up, please. Climb up the ladder. Now let's use the grain on the hopper. Will it use it all or not? No, we've got to use it. Oh no, I forgot we have to do that. Then that. Making bread's not easy, guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you. You can make a, a runite plate body easier than doing this. That's for sure. It's only one click. Okay, down we go. And again, climb down. Let's grab all of this. One, two, three, four. Let's use the pot of flour with the water and make bread dough. One, two, three, four. Let's ditch these. Let's go bake the bread. In fact, let's let's do this because we're we're cheats. We we like to teleport. <laughs> I've been taught bad habits. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Here we go. Okay, we want to bake the bread. One, two, three, four. Right. I'm going to talk to him about breadcrumbs, just in case. Just in case. Okay. Boom, boom. The pirate. Okay. But we want to know about breadcrumbs, just in case. Where do I get breadcrumbs? That's easy. All you do is use a knife to slice the bread up into tiny, tiny chunks. I thought so. Thanks. So, now let me see. Oh, we need a knife first. Let's grab a knife. I don't see one up here. Du -du -dum -dum -dum. We'll go in here. All right. Let's grab the knife. Use the knife on the bread. There, that's it. See, breadcrumbs. Oh, oh. Come on breadcrumbs just like that let's put this away now i've got to read the quest now and see what it says to do we maybe put the money away as well so we've just got kind of what we need in our pockets is let's put all the buckets away there i think we've got what we need let's take a look I have some giant crab meat, I have some ground cow, I have some ground cod, I have some breadcrumbs. Tell me that we'll look at the recipe for it. Ew, okay, so what do we do? Maybe use it all? Um, use the ground cod on the ground cow. You do not yet know how to make fish cakes. thought he told me, but well, I have to go back and speak to him again. Tell him I've got it all. Uh, here we go. Pirate. I can't quite remember how I managed to save the pirate. Okay, fish cakes. Yeah. I have all the ingredients for fish cakes. Great. 
Just like before, I've been reading the recipe and I know how to make the fish cakes now. Pretty simple actually, all you have to do is use the ingredients on each other and then cook the fish cakes on a range. That's it. Yes, I thought that there was a page missing from the cookbook because it seems so easy, but it turns out it really is that easy. Okay. So I was right, let's use that on that. And we've got a raw fish cake. Should we do a few? Oh yeah. And then we just gotta cook it. Let's do it. Let's hope not to burn. Uh, let's make a raw fish cake, baby. One, two, we got fish cakes coming in hot. Four fish cakes, beautiful. Plus 11, but they're a pain to make, so we won't be making them for ourselves, that's for sure. Have a fish cake cooked to house, you go and use it on Pirate Pete. Guys, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Right, let's use the cooked fish cake on Pirate Pete. Yes, come on now. Congratulations, you are freed Pirate Pete. You're awarded one quest point, a thousand cooking XP, a thousand fishing XP, a thousand smithing XP, a thousand crafting XP, increased Culinaromancer's chest access, total quest points 204. Let's go, guys. Another one is done. Good work, adventurer. I've teleported them away to safety. You only have five council members left to protect. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's have a quick look. Recipe for disaster. Another one green. Let's go. Now, I want to go back down and look at the chest, guys, before we end. Last time, we got some nice upgraded gloves. We got iron gloves, and I have used them. I have used them. Let's take a look first. Uh, the food chest, anything different? Uh, I don't know if there's just more stocked. Is there just more stock? Grapes. I'm not no I don't I can't tell if there's anything new in here really. But what about the other? Oops. Uh buy items from the chest. <gasps> Steel gloves! Oh man! Egg whisks, but alright, hold on, hold on. How much are they? 650 coins, let's buy them. Let's get the money out. Are they better? They've got to be better. They have to be better, right? They have to be better. Let's buy a pair and take a look. Yes. Yes, look. They are better. Oh, my God. They're considerably better than these. Wait. I think they're a whole point better than my iron. Malie plus four plus three. Yeah, look. Let's actually go, guys. We got some new gloves again. I can't believe it. The upgrades are real. The upgrades are real. We're going to move those into there. Like that. We're going to do that. We're going to release the iron gloves. And we'll just sell those. I mean, we've got fish cakes in here. I don't know. I'll keep them for now in case anything at all goes awry. It shouldn't. It shouldn't, should it? Should it? There we go. Guys, another one bites the dust. We've done another quest. All right, it's a, it's, it wasn't actually that short, to be fair. It took nearly 50 minutes. But there we go. Another one is done. I hope you've enjoyed. I've loved it. I'm loving every minute of it of being back into old school and being able to play it. But there we go. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed. But until next time, you will be safe. Take care. God bless. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye bye for now.